Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. We have our guest with us in the studio. His name is Michael Jagede. He's an accountant graduate, but has officially become a farmer and an agriculture expert. He'll be here to talk to us about all that he's been doing with regards to agriculture, most especially the topic um, youth development through agriculture. He is the co-founder of Next Organ Agri. It's a delight to have you. Thank you very much. So from accounting, you studied accounting, you graduated, and you decided to forge a career in agriculture. Why the switch? Well, I haven't stopped being an accountant. Uh, I'm still an accountant. There's, a, there's, a, there's usually an um, expectation, you know, that when you study accounting, right. you know, there's, there's an expectation. Of course, I know that accounting would be very beneficial in the agricultural sector of as course. well. So what, but what piqued your interest in agriculture? It has always been from day one, from my childhood. And I, I used to say this, I was born into agri. And so the passion for me to actually venture into agriculture is to make sure that um, there is... Um, adequate supplies of food uh, and food and uh, sustainability for Nigeria. So, and then it's also, also actually born out of my passion for, from day one, from being, you know, um, a farm boy, let me use the word farm boy. So I've always been taken to the farm from day one. So these had actually informed my decision to go into it. And I also wanted to do something very different and then from the regular accounting that I have actually studied. Brilliant. When you say that you were born into agri, yeah. I want you to explain to go a little deeper. Do you mean that maybe your parents were farmers or you started working in the farm at a young age? Okay. Technically, my dad, my parents, they, 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 they are all farmers. My dad is still, is still farm up to today. So as I speak to the youth today, I, I know he's, uh, he has several farms. So I was born into it from day one. I, I've always been going to the farm, following my dad to the farm, doing this. We planted rice. We have a lot of things we planted back then. So this has been my core, what do you call it, um, passion. So it, it's been all from day one. So let me just leave it at that. Okay, now that you've gotten into agri and you're doing agriculture full time, right. what would you say have been some of the highlights of being in the agricultural sector for you? It's been fun. It's been very interesting. It's been very challenging at the same time. But um, really, I looked at it in such a way that um, Nigerian youth in Nigeria needs to just do something for themselves. It's enough, you know, it's high time we actually start to do something. And then if we want to, um, uh, to help the government, because I looked at it from that perspective. We need to help the government. We keep complaining. Everybody keeps talking about this government is not doing this. They are not doing X, Y, Z. What are you doing as a person? So this has been my, uh, my uh, what do you call it? Um, mindset. Mindset to, mix, okay, to ensure that I want to use a platform to engage the youth to do something. And that is basically agriculture. So that has been my perspective. This has been my, my, my mindset is to ensure that I do something aside from the regulars. That's all. There's been a recent trend. You know, people are jumping into, there's some sectors that are now booming. So we're seeing a lot younger, a lot more younger people going into the beauty and fashion industry mm -hmm. and also into agri, yes. you know, entertainment as yeah. well as agriculture. Yeah. Uh, would you say that we have enough hands so far or is there still room for more? Okay, there's always a room for more in every sector. But in agri, uh, uh, particularly, we still need more hands. That's why I'm here. Uh, we still need more people, especially youth. Because I realized the old, the, 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 the headers, the old ones, the, the grandpas and the grandmas, they, they, it will get to a time they won't have the strength. They won't have the energy to produce what will satisfy you, I, myself, and everybody out there. So we need more hands to join that tree. So that's why we are trying to encourage you. So in every department, in every sector of Nigerian economy, we need more hands. We need people of serious mind, not somebody that wants to just do it uh, uh, on paper, on, 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 or online, on social media, and all of that. We need pragmatic people that want to do this you know, in an actual sense, basically. So we need more hands. There are several areas and, you know, several angles to agriculture, you know, as a sector. Yeah. I don't know if you'd like to run us through some of the available options. Now I'm asking this for the benefit of those who are thinking, maybe this is something I'd like to venture into. What are the several things they can do in the agricultural okay. space? Okay, agriculture is wide. The, the, the word agri itself is, you can, you can look at it in different angles. Um, agri, as I said, there is a difference between you, you know, tilling the ground. Like putting something in the ground, you want, to, you want to farm something, you know. And there's another thing, agri has a value chain. So there are people who are supporting agriculture, we call them agropreneurs as well. They don't farm, they don't even touch anything. 
they just provide tools to enhance or to, you know, to ensure smooth running of agri. Some are into logistics, some, you know, transport agri produce from the farm and then to the end users, to the people that want to buy it. Some actually supply applications that work for you to make your agribusiness work smoothly. Some are into uh, technical support. They train people. So those, all of them, they are sectors of agri that you can plug into. But if you are talking about farming, it's different to agri. So if you are talking about farming now, big time, farming has different you know, sector, has different uh, various, uh, what do you call it? Okay. Now, you could go into poultry farming. You could go into fishery farming. You could go into crop farming. You could go into snail farm. A lot of all these things, you could go to animal husbandry. So you have a lot of things, a lot of sectors you can actually, you know, uh, plug into in agriculture. So it's, it's wide. I'm glad that you've explained the several areas or the several sectors that yes. we, or subsectors we can find in the agricultural, course, in agriculture. agricultural space, I beg your pardon, with regards to, you know, I want to focus particularly, particularly on the agropreneurs, those yes. who make facilities available for people who do the actual work of going to the farm and all that. Okay. Now, I, I, I know that recently we started to see a lot of people starting up programs that involved you putting in your money. So I can be an, a farmer without actually going to the of farm. Course, of so course. I put in, I invest yeah. my money and then it starts to yield returns. How safe is that and how profitable is that? Absolutely. That's that platform. Uh, kudos to whoever started it, whoever put that initiative, you know, in place. I want to give, you know, credit to them. I know several you know, agencies, several initiatives like that, which I wouldn't mention. Um, you can be an agropreneur while you are in your studio here. All you just need to go online. Everything is made simple. Go online. You can inspect a farm while you are seated here. You can get to see. OK, back in the days when we used to be you know, like small baby, we follow our dad to the farm. If you want to get a farmland, there's a way they measure the farmland. They will measure, they will put something here, something, something like uh, they plant, um, you can plant uh, something like a cocoa tree and say, this from this end to this end is my farm. From this end to that end is your farmland. So that tree that goes up is the boundary between you and I. But these days, there are farm settlements. There are farm settlements, there are farm estates. You know, estate like the one you live in your house. So there are farm estates where a lot of people can actually buy into and do the farming. There are people who want to do the, the stress for you. They will, they will do the, the process. So this is a very good um, avenue for those who of, want to absolutely. expand their streams of income. Jo of income. Let's talk very quickly about um, grants and resources being available to people in the agricultural space. How accessible is grants? It's been very tedious, I, I would say simply. Uh, assessing money or funds or support in Nigeria to do agribusiness, it's been very, very, very stressful. And then again, why is because the Nigerian government, I don't know, I wouldn't want to put it to their face and say they are not being truthful sometimes. Okay. Yes, so you hear a lot of news to, where people say, oh, um, there's this thing happening in BOI. There's this thing happening in Bank of Agri. And then when you get into that space, when you get into that particular place, for you, to, they will, you, know, you know how it is. They will demand for this, demand for heads, for a startup. For somebody that wants to just venture into agri, how do you expect him or her to get all, all of those requirements? So it's been very stressful, and most time, those funds are not even available. That is really, really sad. Absolutely. Well, thank Absolutely. you for sharing so honestly and vulnerably with us. Uh, but before we go, let's ask you very quickly. We know that you know, you're working on something called um, Next Ogar in Agri. Yeah. So you can just give us like a basic summary of what you're looking at all right uh next to that as you as you said just um about now that's um how accessible has the fund been and all of that so this is what we are trying to bridge the gap between um that's what you have just raised um we have a platform that we are putting in place is that platform is basically out there to celebrate farmers the one that are doing it at the moment they, I, I want to respect i want to give uh, i want to salute every you know, young guys that are farming out there. Farming is not actually easy. It's really. not. I must it's, agree. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not easy. But for, to those of them that are farming at the moment, I want to salute them. And um, the point is, Nestor Guy in Agri, it's, um, it's a TV reality platform that we are putting in place to encourage. We want to just basically use to drive more involvement of youth into agriculture. Fantastic. It's a, it's a platform that we want to use to say, we want to, 
you know, market agriculture to you to say, this is how it looks like. It's not the way you think it is that uh, you are going to carry cutlass, carry all of this and all of that. So we are trying to use the platform to celebrate farmers and at the same time to support whoever we want to support. Beautiful. That's yeah. wonderful. Look at you combining agri with entertainment and technology That's and bringing out something That's beautiful. How, how can people follow you and find out more information about this? All right. We are on social media. Every of the platform you want to think about, it's just simply at Nestor Guy in Agri. All right. And next, Ogai and Agric is a platform to follow if you want to find out more information about being a part of the reality show, which is one that pushes for agriculture and selling it to the world. Thank you for joining us, Michael Thank Jagadeh. you very much. To enjoy more of these our Ogonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.